needed to light a candle so I could have some calm vibes to help me get through this video. We need to talk. We need to talk about something that gets me fired the fuck up. We need to talk about artwork thieves or people who steal artwork or people who like to trace my artwork and then call it their own and then try to sell it as their own and make money off what I made. Especially the ones who have the audacity to try to steal off another small artist and then try to profit off it. I have been dealing with artwork thieves for a few years. Let's go back to the beginning. I first started putting my artwork up on Redbubble as a sophomore in college. I thought, hey, it would be a really cool way to make some money and like share my art and how cool would it be for people to like buy stuff with my art on it. So naive. So after some time on Redbubble, a few of my sticker designs blew up, especially this Avocabros illustration and this no thank you plastic bag. So after these two kind of started picking up on sales, I was really stoked about it. I was making some passive income. It was like cool. I was really young in college. However, as you do a little bit of searching as you're just living your life, I discovered that my designs were being stolen and sold on Amazon and shit like AliExpress. The thing is, it is almost impossible to fight these giant billion dollar companies because all they care about is a profit. You're making them money. They don't give a shit who actually designed it. What could I have done other than hire a lawyer to take down this like overseas seller who's in the middle of bumfuck nowhere selling my designs on their stupid tacky stuff. AliExpress, Amazon does not give a shit about small artists. Fuck Amazon. <laughs> Not only were there sellers on these large companies taking my designs and selling it, I would also see people on Redbubble just straight copying my stuff, re-uploading my artwork, tracing over it, and trying to sell it and make money on their own. It's actually pretty easy to report stolen designs on Redbubble. It just means that every once in a while I have to do a search and spend the time filing reports. And I'm just tired of doing that. I just don't upload anything new to Redbubble anymore. So do I regret uploading to Redbubble? Uh, like... <laughs> It's tough to say. On one hand, I've had like a consistent stream of like passive income since again, sophomore year of college. But on the other hand, there are other people also profiting off stealing my design and possibly making even more money than I am. So I don't know. And listen, I understand that these designs aren't unique. It's two avocados being bros. It's a plastic bag that's sad. But these thieves are literally taking my exact image or they're like tracing over it using the exact same lines and like using the exact same colors and like trying to imitate my own handwriting. Just draw your own damn avocados. Just draw your own damn plastic bag. God! So I opened up an Etsy store. I thought it'd be better to like have my designs and stickers come exclusively from my own shop. But what do you know, people still steal my artwork on there. You would think that Etsy would be a more honest place because it's like other small artists who just like draw stuff and put it on stickers and stationery and want to make some money off of it. But no, people still trace my stuff and try to pass it on as their own. As like an independent artist, artist. I guess what is a little bit better about Etsy is that behind these stores there is an actual like singular individual human being that you can like message and like I can easily find those shops and send them angry messages like I did here. I love how confrontational and like direct and blunt I am. Yeah like fuck you. Take my stuff down you thief. And thankfully these store owners are like quite perceptive. Message back very quickly saying sorry well I'll take it down majority of the time they're just like college students who don't know any better this one time this this one store owner claimed that she was I'm a six-year-old girl and then tried to give me the excuse that like oh other stores have it too other stores I see it I see other stores on Etsy selling the sticker too and then linked me to, back to my own shop that's literally my own store so yeah, I have to deal with really fucking stupid people sometimes. <sighs> the one, okay, I need to get down. With, I, can't, I can't even speak. The one excuse that really just blows my top off is when people are like, I saw it on Pinterest. 
What is it about seeing something on the internet makes people think that that is free? I can take it. It is mine now. It is not free reign if you see something on Pinterest. Since my design got popular, Redbubble would constantly push my design and illustration onto Pinterest. These idiots really think that they can just like right click, save as, and then start selling it as their own design. Jesus Christ. To combat this, I have applied for um, copyrights on a few of my designs. Through copyright.gov, you can like register a group of images, but because it's the government, it takes months for it to get approved. I've also started adding my Instagram handle to the sides of all my stickers. So if I ever see them in the wild, I can be like that. That's me. Because so many times people have sent me pictures being like, ah, it's your sticker in the wild. I'll be like, okay, where did they get it? And then they'll be like, oh, from some vendor at the fucking career fair. And I'm like, I'm not at your career fair. That is stolen. Moral of the story is watermark everything, add your name to everything, register with a copyright office and full force message people and inform them. And why I saw it on Pinterest is no fucking excuse. And just, just, just don't steal. When an artist makes something that you like and you're inspired by it, feel free to take from it what you will and to like practice on your own, but don't post it. And especially don't try to make money off of it. Imitation is the highest form of flattery, but not when you are trying to make money off the thing that I worked hard to create. Okay, I think that's all now. I don't no more think of this as a psa for you idiots out there who are still lurking on pinterest to try to find images to sell as your own okay we need to end this all right bye is that a hair in my candle did i get so upset hair flew off my head and into my candle